so hi everyone uh, here we have been given a question in which two circles are there which are touching each other externally so circle one is this circle second is this and we have been given radius r1 and r2 for this they are touching each other externally at a point like this and now a third circle is drawn which is a smaller circle here just see here and they all lie on a horizontal line so circle one and three are touching each other circle one and two is touching each other circle two and three is touching each other right and they all are situated on this straight line horizontal line we have been asked to find out radius of this smaller circle which i have denoted by r so uh, actually uh, to find out this it is quite complicated and uh, requires uh, application of pythagoras theorem uh, you have to draw certain constructions here and do the needful and find out uh, what is the relation between r1 r2 and r and uh, with the help of three pythagoras equations but i am not going to complicate it further and i will just tell you the result which is used to find out radius of the smaller circuit so for this case uh, our circles a uh, radius a smaller circles radius r if r is that radius then we will write 1 by root of r is equal to 1 by root of r1 r1 is the bigger circle circle 1 here right and r2 is the second bigger circle which is touching the circle 1 externally as well as circle 3 externally so 1 by root r2 just have a look at r1 is this r2 is this and r is the smaller circle which we have made now uh, i have been given some data r1 is root r1 is 225 r2 is 100 so 1 by root of r will be 1 by root of 225 plus 1 by root of 100 okay as we know root of 225 is nothing but 15 root of 100 is nothing but 10 so 1 by root r becomes 1 by 15 plus 1 by 10 to solve this uh, fraction what we do we do we take lcm of 15 and 10 or any number which is divisible by both 15 and 10 so 15 and 10 both divides a number 30 so we'll take 30 here in the denominator now we will divide 30 by 15 and we get 2 we will write 2 upwards upside then we will divide 30 by 10 and it will be 3 so we will write this upward so this is 1 by root r is 5 by 30 now to solve this it will become 1 by 6 so what happens my 1 by root r is 1 by 6 root r is 6 and r will be the square root of uh, r is 6 so r will be 36 here so r is 36 centimeter and this will be the radius for the smaller circle out there uh, if you just want to understand how this equation is derived then i can uh, make another video which is based on that and uh, this is a standard result you can use this standard result as far as you have been given a setup like this all the circles are situated on this horizontal line the bigger circle circle one is touching the other circle circle two and a smaller circle circle three touches both the circles and also lies on the horizontal line so if this setup is out there you can use this equation and solve this equation hope you like the concept